Hey, what's up, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. Another great Frankie Slauson edition. And this time I'm using my webcam here, my web camera. I'm going to try to put it to the test here. I'm, I'm kind of wondering that, you know, because my uh, the thing here, and I'm going to show you guys just so it's proof here. See what it says right here? For anybody that can read it? It says, congratulations. Your account is now enabled for uploads longer than 15 minutes. Click the upload button below to select a video. So obviously I can still upload videos longer than 15 minutes but I think the thing is I don't think they want me uploading two hour long videos. I don't think I got permission to do that is what I'm saying. Even though I know there's some people that do and like a lot of the films that they show, you know, movies you know, like they have are like two hours long or so or even over that. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot, and we'll find out. I'm gonna try to make this video at least 20 minutes, maybe a little longer. We'll see, uh, and see what happens. And if it uploads in one part, then you know that I can at least do 25 minutes. At least I know that's a safe zone because, you know, for this little surprise that I have for for y'all here at the end of this month here, uh, I need to know that I can do this video stuff, you know, in one one little part instead of a, you all. Know, uh, it'll probably be in a couple parts because there'll be a lot of stuff uh, uh, talking about the, uh, talking about what happened or whatever and everything and and showing pictures and whatnot. But until then, uh, it's still a surprise. So just because I say pictures doesn't mean really anything. It's a surprise. But can't say anything, can't tell you anything until the end of the month because I am not going to say nothing. So, but anyway, in, in this video, I I found something here. Uh, I've been going through the internet, searching around a little bit, you know, searching the webs of what I can find and and what I can do and whatnot. And I found well, AOL.com had a thing on, uh, on on they always you know it's kind of funny you know you go to AOL.com and they talk about like a lot of stuff that's uh, current, but they also talk about a lot of stuff that's not current, stuff that's like uh, you know retro and whatnot, which I like. And this one they're talking about. The 54 Serials We Loved and Lost, a tribute. So I'm going to share a little bit of this with you guys, uh, of, of the 54 Serials that uh, they have. Of course, Mr. T is the one with the spotlight here, but there's a bunch of serials that I have, haven't seen in a long time, and I'm sure you guys who follow this channel haven't seen. So we're going to talk about serial today. On this edition of the Frankie Slauson Show. Remember, I said that I was eventually going to do something. You know, you guys want to know what I look at when I'm on the web? Well, this is one of the things that I found that I thought would be kind of fun. For all you retro nuts out there. And so we're going to talk about the 54 serials that we that are no longer around pretty much. So hopefully you enjoy this. The first serial we're going to talk about is Morning Funnies. Now this was like a... Had it been like a... Comic book more or less. Like a you know, comic serial of like the Sunday morning comics or whatnot, Sunday funnies. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I ever remember ever seeing this, this serial before. It looks like it was made by Ralston, looks like. Never even heard of that company. But it must have been a serial product because it doesn't say General Mills or nothing. So, morning funnies. Who, who remembers this one? I tell you. <laughs> wow. This one I remember. Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Gotta make the donuts. Gotta make the donuts. And, and, you know, and, and just think, let's look at this though. This is a pretty nice uh, rendition of, of the a cereal box. But look at the artwork. Look at the design. Look at the, the font and just everything. I, I, I like this. I mean, the picture of the donuts that guy, I, I believe he passed away not too long, you know, a while ago. But I remember seeing his uh, commercials and all that. And you can find them like on RetroJunk.com and also find them on online pretty much. You know, on YouTube and everything. And also what's this here? Dunkin' Donuts cereal duffel bag offer. Wow. <laughs> if this cereal was so round, we could enter to get a duffel bag. Oh, boy. Next one here is called Powdered Donuts Cereal. I don't really remember this one, but maybe there's some of you guys that do. Let's see, it says a crispy, sweetened, three grain cereal. And what does it say here? Free with three donuts cereal proofs of purchase. 
A special Duncan yo-yo. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to say. That's uh, pretty crazy. Here's the next one. All right, here, here's one for all you guys that you might like. For all you Bill and Ted fans. A Bill and Ted cereal. Oh, uh, no, it's called... A most awesome breakfast adventure, new Bill and Ted's excellent cereal, and it includes historical, uh, hysterical, historical postcards. I like what they see. A lot of cereal companies used to do that back in the day. I mean, they still do, but where you can enter and win stuff or whatever. But most of the stuff now isn't even worth a damn, you know, like it used to be. There's, there's no production value. Everything's all digitally done, and it's not. You know, real animation like this. Somebody actually literally had to animate the cartoon of Bill and Ted and use George Carlin here in the middle here. And they pretty much got everything to the T. <laughs> but I'll be honest, Bill and Ted is something I still got to watch. I have never, literally, have never watched, sat down and watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure yet. Or whatnot. Or Bogus Journey. Shame on me, right? Next one, G.I. Joe Action Stars. And this is, you buy this cereal and you can enter to get a camo action t-shirt offer. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, let's keep going here. Ice cream cones cereal. Oh, jeez. Chocolate chip uh, flavored cereal. I don't remember this one at all, but of course, you know, there's, there's some cereals that they did put on here that... Uh, they shoulda, but I'll tell you about those later. But it's by General Mills, General Mills cereal. And in this one, you get a ice cream cone mug offer. Only two uh, proofs of purchase or UPC symbols. See back panel. So I'm guessing you, if you look over here, which either no matter how I flip it or how I zoom it or whatever, it's still gonna look uh, sideways. So. Yeah, right here is uh, where you can sign in and get a mug offer. <laughs> of course, all this stuff is no good no more, but... Okay, for all you chicks out there that watch my videos here on YouTube, remember Barbie cereal? <laughs> now, this is kind of funny because, you know, I'm going to make fun of Brendan a little bit, what movie, because his obsession with Barney the Dinosaur and whatnot. Uh, I hope, Brendan, to God, that you never were obsessed with Barbie, you know. Man, I tell you. <laughs> if you have, you probably have have had this cereal before. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, here we go. Kellogg's Double Dip Crunch. Dipped in honey, dipped in nuts. No pun intended. It's pretty much looks the same. They must, uh, it must be like a two copies of this. Or it must be, no, no, it's, uh, this one here. They must, uh. It must be the same either way, or, or two different boxes or something. It looks the same. I don't know. Whatever. Double dip crunch. There we go. Some posts. I think they still make this. But obviously they've updated the image and whatnot. Post crunch. Or no. Post strawberry honeycomb. Oh. <laughs> the official honeycomb kid iron arms inside. A natural strawberry flavor. Yum yum. This kid's loving it. And the one you get here, you get the official Honeycomb Kid sport bag. Wow. Does that look bitchin'? <laughs> okay, here we go. How about some hidden treasures? Wow, I think I remember seeing this commercial. Yeah, this is more of like a 90s cereal because it look, you look at the kids and all that over here in the comic. And uh, the the robot, I remember that. Hidden treasures, so there must must have been something that uh, must have hidden some uh, fruit or something inside or something, because it says right here, which ones are hold a hidden treat? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh yeah, Nintendo cereal. How many? Or I, uh, I'm sorry, Nintendo cereal system. <laughs> it's uh, Super Mario Brothers. Action Series meets Zelda's Adventure Series. And it comes with free power cards. Cool card deals here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. 
collect all 12. Here we go. This is Kruji Stars. Oh, geez, it's the sweetest chef. Oh, no. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn. Oh, yeah. Tell me that guy never gave you nightmares. I guarantee you, I had nightmares at one time about the sweetest chef. He's kind of freaky looking a little bit. A little scary. <laughs> That's if you get scared of him, anyway. Okay, here we go. Now we got ice cream cone, cereal, this is vanilla flavored, and inside it looks like you get a pack of gumballs. Oh boy. Gumballs with ice cream. Oh jeez. And I think it says here you can enter to get a, yeah, it looks like a gumball machine coin bank, it looks like right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Look at all these. There we go. Some nerds. From the from the makers of the Nerds Candy from Ralston again, uh, it's the Nerds cereal, and I remember this pretty well. It's uh, yeah, I <laughs> I I'm pretty sure they don't make it no more because I I don't think this company's even around anymore. But uh, yeah, that's pretty wow, Nerds cereal. You get the Nerd Grabber, Nerds Grabber, and fruit scented markers. Oh goodness. Here we go. Some Rocky Road. Boy, they're really going with the ice cream theme here. Rocky Road flavored ice cream, or Rocky Road flavored cereal. And if you get this cereal, you get the free mini piano. The free Rocky Road mini piano. That's pretty small. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now this one, I don't think they're around anymore, but maybe they are. As far as I know, Rice Krispies obviously is still around, but I remember Rice Krispie Treats cereal. That was actually pretty good. It's like a, if, if you've never had a Rice Krispie Treat ever in your entire life, then you gotta get the cereal, because it's, it's pretty, it's, uh, pretty bitchin', that's for sure. I, I definitely would, would love some Rice Krispie Treats right now. Here we go. Crispy Critters from Post. I remember the, the commercials, and I think that one guy who did some of the Oh, I think some of the Christmas uh, uh, shows or used to, uh, God, I forgot what, uh, they, I forgot the guy's name or whatever. I think, not Jimmy Stewart, but some other guy. I think you, you know who I'm talking about. If you go back and look at the Crispy Critters commercials, the person who does the voice for it is, has a very familiar voice anyway. Obviously, he's, he's passed on a long time ago, but as to many of these people or many of these uh, people I'm talking about, but... Yeah, the Crispy Critters Counting Game. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, here we go. This is for Shane Jensen. I don't know if he ever watches my videos at all, but if he does, here you go. Smurf Berry Crunch. I'm sure people remember this one, and I, I think I do too a little bit. You know. But of course, I remember cereals like I was talking about earlier that they didn't put on here, like Kaboom. Yeah, I remember Kaboom. And uh, King Vitamin. I think King Vitamin's still around, but... And then, of course, Mr. T. The Mr. T cereal. Ah, oh, pity the fool who never eats my cereal. <laughs> Mr. T cereal. What the hell were they thinking? And they got Pac-Man cereal here. Pac-Man. Can you believe it? Pac-Man. And, of course, oh, here we go. Slimer. And the real Ghostbusters cereal. I remember this pretty well. And I remember the, the Ghostbusters cereal too. Too bad they never uh, could let it go like, or let it continue like they should have. Because the thing about it, even though the Ghostbusters aren't around no more and all that, but they should, I, I personally think they should have kept some of these cereals going. I really, really do. I mean, just for marketing purposes. Because, you know, there's so many people that can appreciate stuff like that and, and whatnot, you know? Oh god, Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright. Too many stories about that one. And of course, Smurf Magic Berries. And I think free inside, Smurf Gummy Goodies is what's inside. Oh, here we go. Now, I've never had this cereal, and I don't really remember this, but this was Urkel O's. So for all you Steve Urkel fans out there, yeah, there's some Urkel O's for you. And if you get this cereal, you can cast your vote, and you can win a trip to Washington, D.C. It says Urkel for president. Good God. 
Oh boy. And here's some circus fun. Now this was kind of like what I'm talking about. This was, I think this is what maybe what I was thinking more or less. Because I, I remember seeing this one and I remember seeing Kaboom. To me, Kaboom and Circus Fun were kind of similar in cereals as far as taste, with marshmallow taste and everything. But I remember that. And if you get this cereal, you get a free Starburst inside. There you go, Starburst. <laughs> but I remember that. I, I definitely can say that. And this one's from Teddy Grahams. Cinnamon. Teddy Grahams Breakfast Bears. And you get this cereal, you get a free... Breakfast Bear Mask. <laughs> Teddy Graham Mask. Donkey Kong Cereal. I definitely can remember that. Who remembers that? Uh, funny that they you know, decided to get rid of a lot of these cereals. Though. I mean, because I like the production value. I like the, the artwork. You know, I like uh, you know, the detail because it seems like more love to me went into making these cereal boxes than they, have, than they are, well, than they put into now. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but that's just what I think. Here's one that I've never had, but, man, I think I remember seeing this before. WWF Superstars uh, has Hulk Hogan on the cover, of course, in a signature pose. And it says, if you get this cereal, you can win a trip to WrestleMania 8. <laughs> so this cereal had to been from 1990, between 1991 and 1992. And it says, free inside... A WWF superstar, not WWE, but a WWF superstar's uh, flip book. Jeez, pretty cool. Pretty cool. There we go. Post Dino Pebbles. I don't think they're around no more, as far as I know, but uh, it's still good to see that they're letting the Flintstones uh, be uh, the trademark for the cereal and all that stuff. That's I like that. And of course, my friend Roger, my roommate Roger, get a kick out of this one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cereal. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to show him this picture, I think. I'm going to have to save it. Let's see. Save. Excuse me there for a minute there. Save it. I'm going to show Roger when he gets home tonight. He will flip. He, he desperately loves the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> there you go. Saved. Okay. Oh, here we go. Gremlin cereal. And get your own gizmo plus toy. Star of the new movie presented by Steven Spielberg. Nine ninety five and two Gremlin cereal proofs of purchase. Wow. And it says a free it also includes a free Gremlin sticker offer. That's pretty cool, I think. Yep. A lot of good artwork inside, a lot of detail. And it tells a story too. It's not just trying to sell some goddamn cereal or whatever. It actually tells a story. Like it's supposed to. Sprinkles, Spangles, I don't remember these. Some of you guys maybe, but I don't. S'mores Crunch, uh, I, I, maybe, I, it reminds me a lot like uh, Golden Grahams, kind of. Pretty much looks exactly like Golden Grahams without the marshmallows and the chocolate. Let's see, New Kids on the Block cereal, oh jeez. But you know, that's what I liked about these cereals though. They were so unique. Because they, they like, you know, I'm sure even Michael Jordan had his own cereal. I mean, I don't know if Back to the Future ever had a cereal. I'm sure they would probably be out here if they did. But, uh, man, it just, you know, everybody was so cool back then. I mean, now, uh, I'm surprised they haven't made, like, a Justin Bieber cereal. That'll probably be the next thing. Bieber cereal or something. Uh, surprise. Just surprise. E.T. cereal. I do remember this, and it says... You get a free E.T. storybook album offer. Wow, that's pretty cool because you see a picture of uh, uh, E.T. with uh, Michael Jackson from way back when. Okay. And we got some Cabbage Patch Kids cereal. As well as Fruity Marshmallow Krispies. I do remember those. And then free inside you get Skittles, Fruit Skittles. And Pop-Tarts Crunch. Freakies are pretty good. Fruity, or no, Fruit Islands. I don't remember those. OJs. Don't remember those. Strawberry Shortcake. I do remember this cereal. I remember, I remember, I, I don't 
I forgot when they actually discontinued it, but I remember seeing it as a kid, and even growing up. But it's been a long time. And Captain Crunch's Choco Crunch? Oh yeah, I can remember this one. Because I, I remember they were trying to promote this one to just uh, get people to find the captain. Where is the captain? Find him and share a million dollar reward. Free detective kit inside. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, maybe I didn't see this one. Kaboom. This is what I was talking about. Maybe just to upload right away or something. I didn't. Yeah, this cereal I remember completely. And I believe the box eventually was a red box too. They eventually updated it, but this was a very good cereal. I mean, it didn't taste all that great, but it, I just remember it because it was just, uh, you know, I remember buying the cereal as well as King Vitamin at the store, and the local grocery store, and before the days of the big grocery stores, the local grocery stores, and yeah, it was, that, that was something. But I definitely remember this one. And Marshmallow Krispies here, I think that's another one. Fingos. Don't remember those. Berry Berry Kicks. I definitely remember those. That it, It's sad that it actually got discontinued unless it's still going, but I don't think it is. Kicks was trying to do something different other than just uh, have regular cereal, you know, going on or whatnot. So uh, they want to try something different. So they did. And, uh, yeah. This one you get uh, free, uh, you see, uh, overpower card game of uh, X-Men, I guess. <laughs> okay, and Fruity Yummy Mummy. I remember that one. I'm sure you, many of you guys do. And C-3PO's. I do remember those too. <laughs> wow. Quaker Half Size. No, don't remember those. Dinosaurs. Transformer Cereal. Yes, definitely remember that one. Donkey Kong Jr., Kind of remember that one a little bit. And finally, Super Golden Crisp. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. I think, uh... <laughs> I mean, you know, it's amazing what you can find. And, and even on the internet alone, it's amazing what you can find. I mean, half the stuff I never thought I'd ever see ever again. So, there you go, guys. You want to see what I look up? Uh, look up on the internet. I might do a couple more of these videos because it looks like on this one there's one that says slow-mo cereal bowl crash and 16 sodas you'll never drink again. So I might continue this uh, as long as this one can uh, upload or whatnot in, in this parts. And if it can, then for the next uh, in the next couple of days I will make a couple of videos about you know, the cereal bowl crash and the 16 sodas you'll never drink again. So stay tuned for those. So, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you guys again for another great Frankie Slauson show and uh, video. And like I said, keep on guessing if you want to. The big surprise won't come until the end of the month, so about March 25th, but uh, it's still plenty of time. Still plenty of time. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.